The original idea of Yum started with a very different concept. This has been a journey and it's evolved a lot over time, especially through the amazing collaboration and partnership with Olivier and Sebastian. Um, originally, it started as um, a brief called Turkish Delight. Yes. And I wanted to create a dessert fragrance around Arabic sweets because I love sweets and I was like, can we create something that celebrates the ones from the region that are really special and different? And I asked for Manish to brief um, our perfumers and I was like, do you think Olivier Crest would work with me? He is the legendary father of gourmand fragrances. He created the fragrance family and he's working with Sebastian. So we asked if they could work on this and they Accepted. Love, they accepted and uh, they were quickly. so amazing <laughs> and they created all these beautiful submissions. After trying so many of them, the actual idea started to evolve. I was like, there was this one fragrance I was obsessed with. I couldn't get enough of it. But to me, it wasn't so much an Arabic dessert. It was, it was different. And we kept changing and adding different things. And then as the journey continued, we decided to go in the direction of pistachio gelato because that is my favorite dessert. And it just worked really well with the original starting point exactly. of Yum. And the actual name Yum came from the submission they created. They, they gave us a submission because every perfumer will create their own submissions and they make their own name. It's like an internal exactly. thing. Yes. And they named it Yum. So when we went to the final, the final submission and I was like, now I need to rename this because it's a different concept. We were like, this is Yum. This is yes. what it is. I couldn't yes. think of a better name. So they actually helped name the fragrance. I mean, in order to make a success on the market, you need to uh, to really appreciate uh, the, the the client, and and, and Mona is a, is a, I mean, a, 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 the perfect profile. She's very uh, very easy, very uh, uh, smart. She knows exactly what she wants. She has a nice perception of the market, and uh, she knows among ten from ten blowers that we were uh, dipping. Uh, she uh, is picking up. The best one, you know. So sure. yeah, yeah, you are gifted. You see, oh, you see. Thank you. you. It's true, and and uh, and I mean, you're, and you know, uh, you know exactly where where to go. And it was fun. We had uh, we had some some uh, some jokes. We we uh, we were very very happy. It's and it's such a pleasure to come and visit you in uh, in Dubai. We are we are pleased because uh, today we can see uh, the bottle of uh, Kayali. 100 ml, the 50 ml, uh, they, they are gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. The name Thank is uh, really nice. Uh, ev every detail is uh, is amazing. And and I saw the we saw the the, the pack. The pack is also really interesting with uh, with the, the diamond facets, more or less. Huh? Uh, I mean, it's um, it's really incredible, and we are very pleased to to have one. Uh, one, the first one, the, the first, first of many. Uh, maybe, maybe <laughs> others, <laughs> but we, we don't tell. <laughs> yes. Honestly, it's a dream for me to be working with Olivier and Sebastian on a gourmand fragrance. You know, I am, I'm, I would say I'm a gourmand girl. I love all fragrance families, but if I had to pick only one to live with for the rest of my life, it would be gourmand for sure. Really, you guys created such a masterpiece, and you you hit the nail on the head. Like this is to me a beautiful gourmand that could be for everyone it's not t too gourmand to where people would maybe feel it's too much like yeah. even people who like light fragrances they still like it because the top is very light mm -hmm. and bright and it's just it's so it's kind of citrusy as well yeah. but then it has such a beautiful heart and the dry down like every single element was so well done and the uh, pistachio gelato mm. is amazing because it's uh, translated in a way that uh, it, it is uh, wearable you know it's the the the, the signature and it's uh, Sebastian who brought that idea and as you are saying also we have other facets mm -hmm. like uh, candy cotton uh, mm -hmm. like rum Mm -hmm. We have traces of caramel also, to toffee, into the fragrance. So the whole fragrance is gourmand, but but I mean the uniqueness of uh, the, the the gelato, the uh, pistachio gelato, is uh, amazing because we we've done a, a fragrance based on a pistachio. Mm -hmm. I think this this uh, fragrance is a, is a real uh, creation. It's uh, the perfume. This perfume is unique. But it's unique also because we've been using some STT, smell the taste, bases, 
uh, which is uh, something, uh, uh, it's uh, the Firmin's uh, signature. The NP, Nature Print, also, which are capturing the atmosphere uh, of the uh, ingredients, um, like, uh, like the rum, is, uh, is, uh, is amazing. I mean, it's, uh, it's very close to, uh, to uh, what you smell, what you drink, uh, because the NP and the, the STT are helping. Others' ideas are uh, also very innovative. You know, we've been using uh, some, some vanilla, which is a special quality. So each time we, we try to, to get the best extraction in order to get some, some different, um, different smell on top. I want people to feel like a snack. <laughs> I want you to feel delicious. <laughs> like you just walked through, like imagine your favorite ice cream shop where you know that smell you have when you go into a beautiful ice cream parlor or gelato parlor, like that beautiful scent. Like I want you to feel as delicious as an ice cream cup. You're traveling uh, with this uh, fragrance, you know, uh, to, uh, we, all, we are all related to uh, uh, our memories, you see. So uh, it, it reminds me of uh, Italy, for example, you see, because the ice creams, mm -hmm. uh, uh, every, everyone has a, has a different perception, mm -hmm. different uh, um, memories. Um, yeah, I think it, it takes me maybe uh, more to New York. New York, really? Yes. Did you have pistachio gelato there? Yes, yes, ah. I had. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's Rome also, Italy, because yes, yes. my first trip to Rome, it's where I tried pistachio gelato for the first time, and that's when I fell in love. So every time I smell this, I'm like, I remember the beautiful streets of Rome and like my really fun holiday with Alia. Fragrance, well, what, what does that mean for us? It's our identity, it's our life, it's our universe. You know, we were born in a, in a bubble, in bubble in grass region. It was the, the, the perfume perfumes bubble, and <laughs> we are still in the bubble. <laughs> it's a beautiful bubble, I love it. <laughs> I love this bubble. <laughs> I think fragrance is something that is very, um, the more you get into it, the more you appreciate it, the more you love it, the more you obsess over it, and it's a very emotional thing. And I believe it's art, you know? Like, oh, it is. There's so much to every single element. It's art. The bottle, the name, the ingredients, the packaging, like everything tells a story. So it's so much more than just a spray. It's like, this is something that can really change how you feel. It's and it's creation, yeah. it's a total, a total art. You know, uh, when, when people are buying uh, fragrances, and especially uh, this one, Yam, they will, uh, they will feel uh, happy, confident, uh, joyful. Uh, you know, uh, fragrances are, are bringing uh, uh, lots of uh, lots of happiness yeah lots of uh, protection